let's solve the system of equations, or rather, system of inequalities. So first we're going to graph both of these lines. And notice that this one, this first green one, is in slope-intercept form. The easiest way to graph slope-intercept form is to start with your y-intercept, which is negative 3, and then use your slope, 1, 2, 1, over, up 2 over 1, to find your next point. That's a very easy way to graph an equation that's in slope-intercept form. So there's my graph, something like that. Notice it is a dotted line, not a solid line. And I know that because the inequality. So I make it a dashed line because this was a less than, not less than, or equal to just less than. All right, now we're going to graph the red line. Actually, no, let's finish the green line because really I have to also shade it. So here's how I shade. I use a test point and use 0, 0. If, if zero, 0 is not on the line, I suggest you use that. It's just easier. So let's plug it in. Is 0 less than 0 minus 3, is that true or is that false? 0 is less than negative 3. 0 is not less than negative 3. 0 is greater than negative 3, so that's false. That means this is not a solution, which means all the points on the other side of the graph are solutions to the inequality. So that gets shaded to the right. Now let's do it for the red graph. So the red graph is, notice the red graph is in standard form, not slope-intercept form. There's an easier way to graph standard form than putting into slope-intercept form. Now you can put it in slope-intercept form, but you can also just use your points. 0, 5 is my y-intercept, and plug in 0 for y, and x would be negative 5 halves. And the way I did that, by the way, in my head, here's what's going on in my head right here. I'm thinking negative 2x is equal to 5 because I plug 0 in for y, which means x equals negative 5 halves. I just did that all in my head, and you'll get better at it, and you'll be able to do that too. So 0, 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right there. And I'm sorry, shouldn't have put that point on there. Z no, I should have put that point on there. That was right. 0, zero 5 is 1 point, and negative no, I shouldn't have put that on. <laughs> Sorry. 0, 5, that's a mistake that is very common is people forget they're going on the wrong axis. 0, 5 is up 5. Negative 5 halves is negative 2 and a half, which is right there, comma 0. And so this line right here, you might be noticing right here that these lines look pretty similar. They look pretty... Let me do that again. Those two lines look parallel, in fact. They are, they are parallel. And the way you know that they're parallel, not just because they look like they are, but you check what their slopes are. And if you looked at this, and here's where the advantage of putting in slope-intercept form, you would have noticed that y is greater than 2x plus 5. These both have the same slope, which is 2. That doesn't mean that there's not a solution. By the way, there's just not an intersection point. But the solution, because this is an inequality, let's see if there is a solution or not. So now let's test 0, 0 for the red graph. Is 0 plus 0 greater than 5? Is that a true statement? 0 plus 0 is greater than 5? Nope. 0 plus 0 is not greater than 5, so it's not shaded that way. It's shaded the other direction. Now tell me, are these two graphs ever going to intersect? No, they're not, because they're parallel lines, and they're both shaded in the opposite direction. So your answer is no solution to this system of inequalities.